Our industry is going through a transformation, one that's taking place right before our very eyes. Here in San Diego, our progressive utility and our city advocates and our passion for technology that's reflected in our universities and companies, we're at the epicenter of some pretty amazing activity. We see evidence of it here and also in cities around the world where our San Diego companies are executing some very exciting smart city projects. We're hearing from some of them today. My, na <coughs> My name is Rick Azer. I'm Associate Vice President in charge of development for Black & Veatch's Smart Integrated Infrastructure Group. Black & Veatch is a global engineering and construction firm focused on critical human infrastructure, energy, water, telecommunications. My team's focused on the convergence of that infrastructure along with communication networks and data analytics to infuse intelligence into systems and cities. Today I'd like to talk about three concepts, the role of IoT, the Internet of Things, how it's enabling major transformations in the energy sector, and what it means for our future. I'm going to do all that in about four minutes. <coughs> so pay attention. Our urban infrastructure is becoming increasingly intelligent, connected, and aware. Today's wireless networks and data platforms play an important role in the inter integrated infrastructure landscape and provide foundation for smart city applications. In addition to the pervasive coverage of public carrier networks, IoT-specific data networks are in the execution stages, like in Genu right here in San Diego, developed to address specific needs of smart city infrastructure. Very low power, very long range, with easy integration and low cost service plans. Significant improvement to cloud networking and storage help as well. The vastly increased volume of data traffic that, that Dave was talking about and less costly remote access has led to a greater understanding of field conditions for water, for power, transport, and waste handling utilities. Cities and utilities want to capitalize on these technologies using data analytics to become more aware, more linked, efficient, and resilient components of smart city maturation. The Internet of Things is moving beyond the scope of the hype phase into one of scale and impact. Many industry sectors will be affected, including energy. With the growth of renewables, microgrids, and smart grids, our energy systems becoming more distributed, more interconnected, and, and even more reliant on data for control and operations. A proliferation of sensors and applications will enable active control of an intelligent and resilient energy system made up of a variety of distributed energy resources. New technology and operating systems are emerging that provide a detailed real-time understanding of energy utilization and grid impact. The Internet of Things ecosystem will include new platforms, new services, and new business models that derive additional value from distributed energy resources for both customers and energy markets. Meanwhile, there's an increasing movement towards energy conservation to reduce CO2 emissions and mitigate climate change. The world is shifting towards a lower carbon energy economy. Smart metering, energy management technologies, and demand response programs help enable this movement. Companies are taking their energy destiny into their own hands, complementing utility-fed power with net zero initiatives and investment in carbon reduction projects. They're finding these steps are not only good for the environment, they're good for our businesses as well. What does all this mean to us? First of all, a new and different set of clients is emerging. Here's some examples. Deploying stationary storage systems into industrial and commercial facilities and schools not only provides local benefits to their hosts, through adaptive control they can also act on behalf of the utility as a virtual power plant, reducing the need for expensive peaker plant operation. Facilities and campuses like Lindbergh Field, the Port District, Qualcomm, UCSD are evaluating, creating, or operating microgrids. The largest new project, power projects in the region are utility scale arrays and the transmission facilities needed to carry that power to the grid. An abundance of new electric vehicle charging stations and new methodologies to optimize energy utilization for those stations are emerging. All of this is data intensive and driven by analytics. We're at the tip of the iceberg as it relates to what distributed infrastructure, the Internet of Things, and analytics can bring to tomorrow's smart cities. Across different project types, we consistently see efficiency improvements of up to 15% or more that occur when data is collected, analyzed, and intelligently applied back to system operations. Thanks for listening. I'd be happy to follow up after the panel today. Thank you.